what's the first thing that you do? So you have a look in the mouth. Is there anything in there? So you would scoop in. If Our pet first aid is mostly uh, geared towards dogs, but you can do it for cats and rabbits and other species as well. I believe that uh, the pet owners really want to know how to take care of their pets. Um, if anything happens, to have that knowledge to be able to, to respond uh, appropriately. Ghosty, I fixed your paw. Yes, I did. I know it's like wearing booties. I think everyone should have a, you know, a basic knowledge of how to you know, help their pet in a moment of crisis. So I think this is a really good class to, to take just to have that baseline knowledge and, you know, move forward and with you and your pet and, you know, in life knowing that if something does happen, you can potentially help them when they need it. And you're going to want to be doing 30 compressions, okay? So one, two. They teach uh, CPR. Um, the importance of really evaluating the scenario when you get there. So obviously our pets cannot communicate with us properly. Uh, they don't speak with us. So we need to really know what they are communicating with us in case that uh, they don't understand we are trying to help them. So it could lead to a bite or a serious injury. So we want to make sure that the humans and animals are safe. So what Definitely the biggest challenge is that it's a live animal, right? So they can't always communicate what's wrong and you have to use restraint techniques um, when they're not cooperating. That's the biggest challenge for sure. The most common challenge would be choking um, is one that can happen quite often. So that's a really important one to, to know and to be able to assist. My little Westie, she gets into trouble and uh, yeah, we've had to deal with some choking issues and tail injury, and but uh, we were able to, to get her all healed and feeling better. I think it's important that everybody take this course, if not for on a professional level, on a personal level. And I think you could probably save some lives. What I'm trying to do is wrap the tail. A new pet owner, somebody that's never owned a pet, I think they might be a little overwhelmed at first and, and should probably start off with puppy lessons and, and take some training initially with their dog and then take a pet first aid. Um, and I think that you could probably apply not just to dogs, but to cats, um, to rabbits, any kind of four-legged critter uh, at your home. I think it's good, good to have.